Hi, here in this question we are given that the sides AB and CD of a trapezium ABCD are parallel. So there is a trapezium, the side AB is the smaller side. So there is a trapezium ABCD, this is let's say the trapezium, side AB is the smaller side and ABCD are the parallel sides, okay. Now P is a point, uh, midpoint of CD, fine, this is a point P here. P is the midpoint of CD and A, B, P, D is a parallelogram. Okay, great. So, A, B, P, D. Now, this here becomes a parallelogram. That means this side is parallel to this side and this side is parallel to this side over here. Okay. If the difference between the areas of parallelogram A, B, P, D and triangle B, P, C. Okay. The difference between area of this parallelogram and triangle B, P, C, this triangle. This difference is 10. Then the area in square centimeter of the trapezium ABCD is how much? Okay, fine. Now let's do one thing. Let's draw the diagonal AP for the, uh, what do you say, for the uh, parallelogram ABPD. Now we know in a parallelogram the diagonal divides the parallelogram in two equal halves, right? So if this is X, this will also be equal to X over here, right? This will also be X. Also, uh, we know that if a triangle and a parallelogram have the same base and the same height, area of parallelogram will be twice the area of triangle. If you look at this parallelogram ABPD and the triangle BPC, their bases are equal. DP is equal to PC. The base is equal, right? Area of a parallelogram is base into height. Area of a triangle is half base into height, right? So for this triangle and for this parallelogram, base is same DP and PC. P is the midpoint. And height is also same. This is the height. That means area of this triangle will be half the area of parallelogram. So instead of drawing this diagonal also, we can simply say, if the area of triangle is x, area of the parallelogram will be twice of x, right? And the question says the difference in this area, 2x minus x is 10. That means x is equal to 10. So the area of this triangle is 10, area of the parallelogram is 20, hence the total area of the trapezium is 20 plus 30. We have to figure out the total area of trapezium, which comes out to be 20 plus 30. Right? Hence the answer is option B here. Okay? So that's it for this question. Thank you.